Hi guys, welcome to JavaInterviewQuestions.com. Today we'll see one important tutorial on string buffer and methods of string buffer. We'll write a Java program uh, demoing all the methods which are there in string buffer. So first what we'll do is we'll see what is a string buffer. So string buffer class is used to create immutable strings. It is same as string except that string is immutable but string buffer is mutable. Okay. Let's write a program to demo all the methods in the string buffer with help of an example. String buffer. First, I'm creating a string buffer. String buffer is be equal to new string buffer. So now, just uh, we have different constructors in string buffer. One is we can give care sequence. One is directly we can initialize string here in the string buffer constructor, and the other one is we can give the capacity which we will create. A <coughs> string buffer with that particular capacity. So first I am taking uh, this string buffer. Okay, here I will be giving the default string. I am initializing the string buffer with hello world. Okay. And let's see the different, uh, what is the different methods used in the string buffer. So sp dot append hi. Okay, I'm just adding hi. Append method is used to what? Uh, append method is used to append the characters to the existing string. Suppose we have a string called sb is equals hello world. So when we say sb dot append hi, hi will be added to the hello world. So just print here sb system dot out dot print sb so here I am writing a statement after append after append so let's run the program and see the output whether we are getting the correct output or not run as Java application So after appending hello after append after appending so let's run the program again. So after appending, so initial string is what hello world. Now what we have added hi. So hi is added to the hello world. So that is the advantage of the or how to use the append method. Let's see the next uh, method in the string buffer insert insert so sb dot insert so when we say insert what happens is here we need to give the offset and the string offset and the string okay suppose at first character I want to insert a okay so when we say sb dot insert what happens is it will insert a at the first position let's run the program and see the output run as okay after after inserting value 1 run as java application so after inserting one so here at the first position it has inserted a so string buffer index starts with zero okay so it has inserted a in the first position 
okay so i can say here after inserting value a equals to now run the program just now i have changed the statement that is getting printed after inserting value a equals to hae llo old high okay this how we use the insert method insert method is used to insert a character at a, at the specified index and third one is replace so if you want to replace a particular character at the specific position just call sp dot stack position 1 and uh, which uh, starting with 0 and ending with 3 okay replace method is used to replace the characters which starts with the index 0 and which ends with the 3 okay so from the start index and index we can replace the string whatever we want with the help of replace method so i want to replace 0 to 3 with empty Now not empty i'll give i'm using at the rate symbol so now it should print system dot out dot print ln sb now it should print at the rate symbols in the first three characters So instead of zero to three, at the red is printed. So if I give three times, it will print three times. So three times, hello world, hi. So this is how we can use the replace method. And delete method. So delete method. What is the purpose of the delete method? It is used to delete the string from specified start index and end index. So now I will demo the how to use delete method. So it is used to delete the characters from start index and end index. Suppose I want to delete the first three characters, then I should say zero to sb dot delete zero to three. So now I'll print the delete method. Now I'll print. string buffer after deleting after deleting three characters after deleting three characters i am printing the string now what it should get printed ll bo bold high run as java application ll bo bold high it removed all the three characters and next so insert is done replace is done delete is done now what we'll do is we'll dem i'll demo reverse method so reverse method is used to reverse the characters within the string reverse the character within the string okay now just call sb dot reverse now it should print i h d l r o w okay System dot out dot print ln sb. So now what we need to do after reversing the string, write a statement like this. After reversing a string, run the program and see the output. Run as Java application after reversing a string. I h d l r o w o l l. Okay, this is how we reverse a reverse a string by using sb dot reverse method. And if we want to get the character at a particular index, we can use caret method. So now I want to get the character at fourth position or first position. So what is the first position? I. So sb dot char at i. That means sorry, sb dot char at zeroth position, which we should should print. One system dot out dot print ln character at first position equals to sb dot caret zero run the program and see the output. 
So character at first position is what? I. Okay. So this is how we can get the character at the particular, uh, particular index. And the next one is length. Length method. So length method is used to get the length of the string. Length of the string. So if you see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So length of the string should be starting with 0 and ending with uh, total we have 10 characters. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it should print the length of the string as 10. SB dot length. So here I am using length method to get the length of the string. Here I am writing a statement like length of the string equals to sb dot length run as job obligation. So length of the string is 11. So including space it is 11. And, and then what is the next method? Substring. Substring is used to extract a string from a particular string. Based on the start index and index and end index, we can extract the string from the original string. Suppose I want to extract a string from a string from starting with zero and ending with three. I want to extract a particular string. Dot dot extracting a string extracting a string from zeroth position till third position okay and see the output whether we are getting the correct output or not so run as java application ihd okay so from 0th position till 3rd position ihd okay this is how we can use the substrings method in string buffer class hope you guys understand the usage of all the methods in the string buffer and how string buffer is used thanks for watching my video